before I began, that show power crazy as a motherfucker. But anyway, it's your boy Bosma Wait, bring y'all another video. All right. Um. Yeah, I want to do this uh list because um I noticed that it's a lot of teams in the league right now that uh runs the three four defense. Um, actually, it's 18. Um, it's a lot of teams now. So, that's more than half of the teams in the NFL that runs 3-4 defense. It's not a good or bad thing. It's a very great thing. Um, so, so yeah. So, um, I wanted to do a, uh, a top 10 um, NFL 3-4 defenses. All right. Um, I actually did research. I uh, looked up the stats. From last year, and um, the, well, these are the top ten going into this year, but it's going to factor into what they did last year, kind of just a little bit, and from who they added on defense and the personnel. So I want to break it down like that. So I don't want nobody to think I'm, I'm crazy and just coming up with anything. So I actually wrote it down. Um, the list is right here. So uh, I'm, I'm gonna go off my my uh, notes and stats. And uh, I'm taking from there. All right. So this is my top 10, 3 4 defenses going into the 2015 NFL season. All right. I'm starting from 10, going on to number one. All right. So here we go. Number 10, Philadelphia Eagles. All right. Um, the pass defense suck. I'm going to get that out of the way. Um, I don't like their back for, for shit. Okay, I'm keeping that shit real. I know I'm from Philly, but I'm keeping that shit real. They were 31st last year for a reason. Um, I don't think they proved a whole lot in that back four. Um, but their front seven is amazing. Okay, um, Fletcher Cox is a beast. Um, you know, Philly would have been Chip. Yo, man, Chip Kelly would have been crazy if he got rid of all them guys for uh, Marcus Mariota. All right, you know, their offense would have been. Good anyway, but you know you don't trade Fletcher Carr to make Kendricks long guys. They got Mike Kendricks, uh, D'Amico Ryan, Kiko Alonzo. Um, they got three excellent middle linebackers. All right, um, somebody gonna be the odd man out. Um, I don't know who it is, but somebody somebody's gonna be on the bench or they gonna be traded. That's what I predict. Um. I don't know about release, but I know that one of them going to be on the way out. So, cause I don't, I mean, cause they are three good middle linebackers. Like, you know I mean, you know, I don't know what their situation is going to be. So, but somebody going to be riding the pond. So, but anyway, uh, they got Connor Barwin in front seven. Very, very good player. Uh, very, very excellent pass rusher. His coverage is, uh, okay, but he, he's more known for getting to the quarterback. Um, he led the NFC in sacks, I believe, last year. I think he was second to sex to Robert Quinn. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah. So they, so they my number ten. Uh, last year they was total. Uh, last year they ranked twenty eighth in defense, thirty first in pass defense. That's uh, they gotta improve in that area. But as far as potential go, in the front seven, they are in my top ten, and they're number ten on my list. Uh, number nine is Houston Texans. Uh, their front seven is fucking amazing. Led by J.J. Watt, the number one ranked NFL player by by his peers on the NFL Countdown this year on the NFL Network. Excuse me. Um, yeah, uh, J.J. Watt, Jadavion Clowney. I, I, I'm pretty sure he's going to bounce back this year. He um, they say he's healthy from his knee. Uh, Vince Wilfork, he's still going strong. Um, they got a pretty good front seven. I'm not really hyped about their back four, but they will get to the quarterback. Um, even though J.J. Watt, man, he don't really need a whole lot of help, but that's a bad boy, man. That's a bad boy. So he deserves his number one ranking. You know, he, you know, he's up there with the elites right now. So he pretty damn good. So that's my number nine team is, uh, Houston, Texas. Uh, number eight is Green Bay Packers. Um, their outside linebackers, Clay 
and Julius Peppers are fucking amazing. You already know Julius Peppers. Uh, I I predict he's gonna be in the Hall of Fame. Um, he had, I mean, he he's had a Hall of Fame career. Um, Casey Hayward, he's up and coming corner. He's very very good. Ha ha, Clinton Dix, very good safety. Um, they were 15th total defense last year, and uh, fifth in points allowed. Um, they're gonna be even better this year. I predict. Um, really, they. They have a good defense, but they always going to be outshine because of what the offense do. And people don't really take notice of the defense. So this year, they really going to do some great things with it. You know what I'm saying? So that's my number 18. Because they're front seven, man. Like, it's pretty much, man, Clay and, and Peppers, man. They just, they just beast, man. They just, they just good, yo. Um, so that's my number 18. Uh, number seven, um, Cleveland. Um, I was trying to get them a little higher, but but the other six teams that I have is pretty damn good themselves. So, but Cleveland, um, they solid on each level. Uh, they were second in picks last year. I'm pretty sure they're gonna be in the top five this year in uh, picks because uh, Joe Hayden, man, you know Joe Hayden is fucking amazing. Uh, he been uh, he been amazing since I can remember him back in Florida. So. Um, you know, he's pretty damn good. Um, the front seven is, uh, it's okay. It's not as, you know, great as the other six, pre well, the six teams that I have in front of them, but, uh, it's more based off their back four. Uh, I'm very confident in the back four of, of the defense. Uh, they are pro bowlers. They, they, they ain't know how to play. I just don't like. I'm not like their defense is straight. It's just Cleveland offense sucks, and 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 like they gonna put the defense in 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 a lot of bad uh, uh, um, um, pre, uh, predicaments or you know situations this year. And, and, you know that might alter, you know what they could really do on defense. You know what I'm saying because. The offense, man, they gotta produce. They have to produce this year. So, but um, but when we talking straight defense, Cleveland is up there. They had a top ten pass D last year. They're gonna be top ten this year. Guarantee that. Regardless of what the offense do. Um. All right, so that was my number seventeen. Um, number six is uh, Kansas City Chiefs. Uh, their front seven is fucking. Crazy. Um, Justin Houston, uh, Tom Holly, Derek Johnson, Poe. They got a very, very, very good front seven. And they put a lot of pressure on them. But they're most underrated and not even talked about position is their secondary. Um, they were second in pass D. Number seven total D and uh points allowed it was number two last year. Um and you know the only question mark is the uh, Eric Berry health. Um we gotta see what's up with Eric Berry. Um we have to see how they gonna you know get him back to health, you know, because he's one of the best safeties we have in the league. But Eric Berry was out last year, so I don't know how he's going to come in there and be the same type of player. Um, but um, I'm but I'm glad he back. Um, Sean Smith, very very underrated corner, and he will lock and he will put the pause on you. So that's my number six defense, three four defense is Kansas City. So the so the first five is. Number 10 is Philly, number 9 is Houston, number 8 is Green Bay, number 7 is Cleveland, and number 6 is Kansas City. So that's my bottom 5, I'm saying, of the uh, top 10. So this is my top 5 of the top 10. Uh, number 5 is Arizona. Very, very good defense all around. Even though they struggled a little bit last year, but the personnel they have is fucking good. Um, 
Pat Pete, he has to bounce back this year. Um, he was a little off last year. I would have to admit, even though I'm a big fan of his, but but he has to bounce back this year for that defense to get to that level as he was. Uh, Campbell, he's awesome. Um, you know, Kevin Mentor, he's, you know, the guy who's starting now. And, you know, he's going to be a very good player for years. Um, my man Tony Jefferson, you know, the honey badger. You know, they'll be okay. They start on on my each level of the defense, you know, for them to be round number five. Um, and Tyron Matthew is – he's is the uh, – What's the word I'm looking for? He's the X factor. Um, because he can play corner or he can play safety, he can play up, he can play back. You know, he you know, he's the X factor of their defense. So, you know, watch out for him. He's gonna he's gonna be okay this year. And and I know he's healthy, so he's gonna be okay. Uh number four. Now I, man, I like the top four I have is crazy. And um, I was sitting there like, damn, who the fuck? Because, like, any one of the four could be number one. So, they was going like that. Um, my number four, three, four defense is Baltimore. All right. Um, let me get the weakest point out the way. The secondary is kind of weak. To me, it's weak. Um, Webb is a stud. Um, I don't trust Will Hill. I, you know... Uh, he's all right. Um, I, I'm I'm not a big fan of the secondary. So, but their front seven, their three four, is amazing. Um, Terrell Suggs, Elvis, Daryl Smith, C.J. Mosley, excellent linebackers. They solid all across the board, linebackers. Um, D line is crazy. You know, Timmy Jernigan, you know, Chris Canty. Like, they got a good front. They have a good, solid front seven. Uh, let me run down the numbers. Uh, it was number eight total defense last year and number six with points allowed. Um, yeah. Baltimore have been known for the D for the last 15 years, so nothing is going to change with them. Um they don't have nada no more, so I got to see how they play this year. But uh, that's my number four team is Baltimore. Uh, number three, Buffalo Bills. Um, front seven is amazing. Mario Williams, Jerry Hughes, Kyle Williams, Marcel Darius, Bradham, Preston Slipman. They got a fucking front seven like, out this world. All right, they have a very major front seven. Uh, that was number four total D. Uh, number three pass D. Number four points allowed. All right, uh, fifty-four sacks led the NFL. Okay, fifty-four sacks. Um, let's just say they gonna get around fifty again this year when they got the same motherfuckers from last year. Healthy wise, like like if like like if that team is healthy, their defense is going to be top five, regardless. Four three or three four, they have a top five defense. Buffalo, I'm that confident in Buffalo, and uh, Gilmore is very very underrated. He's up and coming. Watch out for him for South Carolina. He's uh, this about his like, third fourth year in the league now. Watch out for him, man. He's going to be alright. Um, yeah, so. Buffalo is my number three team. Um, number two is Denver. All right. They could have been my number one because I'll be beasting shit out motherfuckers on Madden with Denver, okay? Von Miller, Marcus Ware. Uh, I believe they are the best uh, pass rushing duo in the NFL. Um, people thought the Marcus Ware was washed up. And uh, he balled out last year. Um, Von Miller is going to be amazing in his league. All right? If healthy, he's going to be amazing. Um, they're back four. 
Hmm. They have a top five secondary in Denver. Chris Harris Jr., a key to the TJ Ward. Their front, I mean, their back four is fucking crazy, man. And uh, Bradley Roby is, a, man, he's a very good third quarter. Um, yeah, and um, Denver, Denver is gonna be Denver. Like they're gonna win 12, 13 games this year. Um, they was not, they had the number three defense and the number two rush day. So, you know, they're gonna be top five this year again. Uh. You know, I don't know how they haven't won Super Bowl yet. Like that, I mean, that's just amazing to me that Denver haven't won yet. Like they had, they were having the best teams. Like they just, they just don't get it done, man. So, but um, I got Denver number two, right? Number one, I don't know, I don't know if it's any shock to anybody because my man, because my favorite player played for this team is Daryl Revis. Um, New York Jets number one. Uh, they were number six last year, so they, they added top corners to the team. So, I mean, we think they're gonna go. They're gonna they're gonna falter or they're gonna go up. Like they're gonna be the number one team. They're gonna have the number one D this year. Three four defense. Um, Seattle's my number one D- team on defense. So don't get it fucked up. Seattle's uh, number one total defense. I'm just doing three four D and the New York Jets is my number one three four defense. Um if you uh if you think I'm talking crazy, uh just look at the personnel. Okay, go go to uh Google some type in New York Jets and look at the personnel, okay? Um, they fucking solid on each level. I'm not too hyped about the linebacker core, even though they're very, very solid. But their D line and the defensive backs are fucking amazing. They are fucking amazing. Wilkerson, Williams. I don't know what's up with Sheldon, man. If Sheldon's gonna be out the first four games, um. I, I think Williams can step in and play pretty good, but they need Sheldon to be number one. All right, but they still my number one defense. But they need Sheldon Richardson back. Sheldon, get that shit together, bro. They need you back on that team, man. Get your life right uh, so I can watch as a football fan, not just Tampa Bay fan, but as a football fan, I can watch the Jets. He'd be like, damn, that could be one of the greatest defenses of all time. That's how confident I am with the Jets, man. That's how confident I am with them. Got Todd Bowles over there. Nothing but defense. I'm saying, Revis is back. He's healthy. His knee is his knee is 100. percent I'm saying, like they have the pieces, man. They got the pieces to be number one, man. Number one, three, four in my top. And probably in my top three of total defense. All right. So, oh, yeah, man. Watch out for Calvin Pryor, too. I think Calvin Pryor is going to surprise the people this year. I think he will be okay this year. But uh, that's my number one, three, four defense this year. All right. So, we got Philly, Houston, Green Bay, Cleveland, Kansas City, Arizona, Baltimore, Buffalo, number three, Denver, number two. New York Jets, number one. All right, so the New York Jets is my number one 3-4 defense coming to 2015 in the season. All right. I try to make this under 10 minutes, man, but this shit, you know, sometimes when I start talking, man, shit can go crazy. But but um, but uh, they my top 10 um, NFL 3-4 defenses. Oh, yeah, my um, I don't mentions for San Fran. I know they, I know they fucked up, but they still got a good personnel, and Bowman's coming back. Uh, New Orleans and the Redskins, so they're my honorable missions that just missed the cut. All right, so that's your boy Bosman. Wait, I'm out. Deuces.